Hello, how y'all doing? Welcome to Random Thoughts and Observations, Randy and Devil Productions. I'm your host, David E. McClendon Sr., and we'll get into our video in just a second, but first a word of prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for all the many blessings you bestowed upon us. Thank you for our YouTube watchers, all of our blog followers, all of our blog readers, all the publishers, publicists, authors, illustrators, merchandisers, manufacturer representatives, and others that we come in contact with via these blogs and these YouTube channels. If there's anyone out there seeking to find you, please help them to find you. It's in Jesus Christ, Yeshua's most holy and most precious name that we pray by the power of his blood. Amen. Using the GAPS Diet, 175 Recipes for Gaining Control of Your Gut Flora. And uh, there's no way I can pronounce the last name of this author. Well, there's no way I can pronounce the last name, Gad, but... The first name, I've got no clue how to pronounce that. So rather than mess it up, I apologize for not being able to pronounce your name. But um, anyway, this GAPS diet, evidently this lady's daughter had some problems. And she was diagnosed um, with pretty much lack of gut flora. And we're reading a lot about that lately. A lot of books coming in here for us to review about um, gut health. And absolutely speaking, absolutely speaking, gut health is very, very important. And we see all kind of diets and all kind of recommendations about how to take care of your gut flora. And I got to tell you that this diet was unusual because in most diets it talks about eating only lean meats, eating only um, fresh vegetables and that sort of thing. And in this diet it talks about, hey, grabbing the fat. You can... Um, get a steak and not cut off the uh, fat or ham and not cut off the fat or whatever else and uh, that's unusual and also talks about e eating organ meat which um, we think that's unusual in seeking in a different diets now this book is a really a how-to guide on how to get started on the GAPS diet and the thing about the GAPS diet is meant to heal it's not meant to be for the rest of your life it even talks about how to step down from the GAPS diet. And uh, it's not like you would be wrong to continue with the GAPS diet. It's not like it would kill you. Um, it's just a, a diet that's different. And uh, it's the kind of diet that I guess everybody would love to have. I mean, what, what could be wrong with a diet that lets you eat bacon? And uh, you don't see that very often. Most of the things, you know, they shun it. They say, hey, stay away from that. Anyway, this book is very well written. It gives you a lot of great detail about how to get involved with the diet, the different indications for the diet, uh, what to do to understand better, and uh, how to heal your gut flora, to grow it back. And uh, in case you don't know what gut flora is, let me put it into Texan. In Texan, uh, the way you would describe this is you got flyers in your gut. Anyway, or flyers in your belly. And of course, the translation of that is flowers. But it's not really flowers, it's things growing in there. It's different uh, bacteria, it's different uh, organisms that grow inside your stomach that help, or inside your intestines that help to break down your food. And I think that this book explains it all in very great detail to help you understand how it will help you how it will help you to improve your lifestyle if you're suffering from some of the conditions that are described in this book. We think you'll enjoy it, and we thank you. Wow, Gibby, a, a diet where you can eat bacon? Yeah, Hammy, a diet where you can eat bacon. Wow, I guess you're down with that. Because uh, like you're a bacon head, uh, if, if you were to give Gibby uh, a pound of bacon, uh, that is satis satisfying for about half a meal. Cause you know he, he he likes him some bacon and 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 he's a fat boy and fat boys like that they really like their bacon. Anyway, people, uh, this book is excellent. It uh, will help you fix your gut. And if I had one, I would be uh, trying to fix my gut or keep it healthy. And that's what you should do is keep your gut healthy. So check into this diet and see if it's right for you. Remember always consult your medical people before you get involved with some sort of diet that uh, is a little different for you. Before you start any diet that's a little different for you. Anyway, thank you. Bye!
Ready to order? Click the link below.